Hi guys! Um, so I am super excited to be working on my round robin book page for Creative Sandbox and I thought I would record that process and I'm, I'm not exactly sure even how this is going to go. I just know I picked some of my very favorite colors and I think I want to do like maybe a gradient a dark to light across the pages. I'm not really sure yet. So I have um, turquoise green, phthalo blue, deep violet, impression blue, and plus black and white, or at least white. And we're going to see where this goes. So thank you for joining me. And um, yeah, let's get started. So I've chosen, I always like to use big brushes, especially to start out with. So I've chosen this kind of, I don't know, I think this is an inch and a half wide brush, something like that. And uh, you can see it is well used. My bristles are stained. And look, I have a little extra. I'm going to get rid of that. There. Gone. A little extra hair. So, um, and I'm going to do just gradient color, I think, to start. And then we'll see where it goes. So I have some Prussian blue here. And I just want this side to be super dark. And you saw that I dried my brush. This paper, I have already gessoed my page. Uh, and I put this uh, wax paper in between so that I wouldn't mess up um, any other pages in the book. Plus, um, there is an artwork on the back of this page. And uh, so I want to be really careful not to mess that up as well. So there's my Prussian blue. And now I'm adding some phthalo blue. Very strong colors, as you can see. And just slightly different and how they look. I'm just going to keep on going. And I think now I will. No. No, I'll just like this. Okay, I want to kind of keep my paint colors damp, so I'm just going to do light mist over my page. And a little more that would do. Hmm, I'm trying to decide what direction I want to go in. Now, do I want to add white? Do I want to go ahead and add turquoise? It's darker already than I want it to be, so I'm going to add a little bit of white, I think, because I really want I want to brighten this part. It's too dark, too far over. A little more white. Some blending going on here. We love that. More white. Okay, now I'm going to add the turquoise. And I'm not even going to clean my brush because I want these colors to blend together and look really cool. <laughs> of course, they're going to look very cool. I'm painting them. And I'm going to stop right at the edge. And I want to add some more white to brighten that turquoise a bit. Have that one down. Ooh, loving that. Okay. And then I'm going to start with this, this turquoise and white on this page. That's not enough turquoise. More turquoise. There we go. I don't know if the camera picks up that this is actually turquoise green. It tends to turn everything blue. I don't want that on my page. There's just something about gradiated color that I really love. And so why this isn't a straight gradation all the way across, I still think it's really beautiful. Get those edges. Again, I'm going to lightly mist my paint and my palette. There we go. And my next color that I have is the violet. And I'm not cleaning my brush in between because I want the colors to blend in together. I don't mind that this edge is black. To me, it just adds a little more interest to the piece. Look at that. All right, now I'm adding this violet. Wow. Look at the color. So, okay, here's something that I'm no noticing and I'm, I'm really liking. I like this reflection of this really dark color from this page to the edge of this page. 
So I'm not going to add more white over here. I'm going to just add more of the violet and continue to blend it and let it get even darker. I'm going to get the edge of that page and then I want to get this corner. Picked up a little bit of that paint from in there. Okay, oh my gosh. So, if you don't like color, you definitely won't like my work, but oh, this is amazing. I'm adding a touch. Very careful because I'm adding a touch of phthalo blue, and it's very easy for phthalo to overpower a painting and to take over and be everything blue. So, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to get some more of this violet, the deep violet. And I'm blending that in more with that blue. I still have some blue on my brush. And I need some more. I'm going to add that straight onto my page. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this page now. But I am oh so happy with this color. Got a little bit more on there than I really want. I'm going to a little bit of white. Put it back in there. Now I'm going to clean my brush because I can see that I'm taking the violet further over than I want it to be. And so I'm going to clean my brush, pick up a little bit of the turquoise, quite a bit of white, and then blend that back in there. Okay, right over it again. No problem. Oh, look at that. Violet is taking over again. This is because I'm painting wet into wet. So just if you just have to know if you paint wet into wet, you're likely to pick up the other color. So I'm in my brush, I'm drying it, I'm gonna add more turquoise and white. Mostly white, a tiny bit of turquoise. So I have, you can see, on my brush, and I'm just going to go back in right here. And I'm going to go across towards the violet, but I'm not going to go back in the other direction. There we go. That is beautiful. So, <laughs> now I have to let this page dry because I don't want to um, mess up this beautiful range of color that I've painted. And I will be back. Okay, so I'm back, and I admit I'm struggling a little bit because, oh, poor Groot, there's paint on him. I am struggling a little bit because I really love this gradation of color, and I'm like, ah, I don't want to mess it up. But uh, this is not, obviously, not a finished little painting, uh, not what I had in mind if I ever had anything specific in mind. The only thing I have in mind is this concept of, of the spirit of play. And so I'm just going to play with this and see where it goes and um, keep painting until it makes me happy. So I want to draw like this sort of wavy line with a swirl on it. My paint pen is not working very well. There we go. Um, gonna connect the two pages, make them more, even more unified. And so, yeah. All right. I don't like the way this looks, but I'm gonna get a different paintbrush. You can hear me flipping through my studio. I really like to work with uh, flat paintbrushes. 
So I think this this one will work. This is our flat. Probably a filbert. It doesn't have the soft corners though. And um, I'm going to really wet it and get my white acrylic and make sure I had kind of plenty of water on it so it flows. And then I use this edge. And I'll just go from there. Here we go. Okay, so that's not so bad. It's not flowing off the paintbrush like I really wanted to, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> that's what happens when you go from the other direction. So I have like this wave going on, and now I'm going to make some little. Few little dots on there. And a little bit, just a tiny bit at the top up here, kind of like a starry night. And this side kind of mirrors the other side a little bit. Like doing that, maybe a little bit here. And there we go. Now the question I'm in my mind is, do I want to just add more paint to this white? Do I want to let it dry? And I guess I want to add more paint because I am doing just that. Don't want to have a I like how it has that very soft edge. So I don't want to have a really defined edge in that paint. Dry my brush. Kind of go over it and make it little bit more less defined. There we go. All right. So I like that so far. Dun, 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 dun. Now what am I going to do? I think I need to dry this again. I'm like kind of rushing it. I'm just using my heat tool to dry it. So I'm I'm just I'm just not sure. Okay. So I really want to use some stencils. I don't want to use that. Uh, I don't want to use white for the stencils. I clean my brush, and I'm going to use a little blue, really dark, um, saturated. You know, I lied. I really have to dry this first because if I don't, I'm going to mess up my dots and everything else. So I'll be back. Okay, so it's mostly dry. Some of these little spots are not quite dry, but I'm going to leave this page alone, I guess, a little bit and work on this side. I really just want to just play, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got my stencil that I said I was going to use. Now I'm going to use it, and I'm just going to pick a spot. You can tell it's well used. I use it all the time. Love this stencil. I'm gonna pick a spot. What I like about this stencil is it's kind of randomness, I guess. It's not like exactly perfect, doesn't make like everything's this complete line. Anyway, yeah, so there's that. And I'm gonna put it here. And I'm going to use the turquoise plus some white. Kind of like this color over here. But what I'm going to do is uh, 
I'm going back to using my big paintbrush again. Now this is a really big paintbrush for this really small page. Um, but you know, that's just what I like to do. So I'm going to pick up white and turquoise. Like this. Some of both. More turquoise. And I'm going to just brush it on my palette a little bit to kind of blend it. So now you see I have it blended on my brush. Then when I put it through the stencil, it's going to get this nice blended look on the stencil. It's going to look really cool. And I want to go further down when I do it here. Now I don't want my circles to be exactly perfect or anything like that. So that's why I'm brushing it on. If you want your circles to be perfect, you're going to have to dab it on. So see, I love that. See how it blends into the blue. I don't mind that they're like smudged together. That's perfectly fine with me. And of course, I said I wasn't going to work on this page, but now I am. I'm going to just continue. And I don't want to be more careful. I'm watching out for these dots over there. I'm going to do really the same thing. I'm adding a little more turquoise, a little more white. And a little and doing it this way. And I like my stencils to be more like organically shaped. I don't want them to be in any way means at all perfect. So <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a little bit more. I can find a different spot. Just a little bit more here. And I am, but I am going all in the same direction. Sometimes, sometimes I like going in the same direction, sometimes I don't. So, do that again. And I'd like it to be wider at the edge, narrower, narrower at the top. <laughs> so, yes, I am enjoying this thoroughly. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing basically, but I'm going to do it with the violet. Oh yeah, the violet. And I'm not worried about cleaning my stencil off, as you can already tell, um, but I did clean and dry my brush a little. And now I'm going to get the violet. I'm going to pick up some white and brush it out a little on my stencil. Um, not my stencil, on my palette, so that I have kind of that blended color in the middle. It's such a nice transition, and I want to put this here, and layers, and more layers, and more layers. Okay, so like this, just doing kind of a small element. There we go. Very bright and vivid. And I'm going to put that something similar right here. Except I think I'm going to oh. try to be really careful not to hit those dots. I'm going to go up really tall. There we go. Now I can hold my stencil. So I'm picking up a little more of that deep violet, blending it a little. Still two colors on my brush and careful. Now I really wanted to go <laughs> the other direction. I went in the wrong direction. That's okay though. So I'll just flip it around in a second and add white on this side. So I'm still continuing to play around with the gradient color just in a little bit different way with this with my stencil. And look I have a little happy accident here. Even though I thought I was holding my stencil up. Look. So, you know, you just go with these things. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to try and stamp that over here. I'm just wiping my stencil with this cloth. Oh, that's an interesting. <laughs> that's a very interesting texture. I'm going to do that again.
so I have some interesting things going on here. Eleven Mavrinoli. What I would normally do is move on to a different piece because I would move on, let this dry, and then switch back again. Look, I have this little spot. This, this is begging. It's begging. Please paint me. That's what it says. Please paint me. I, I need, I need violet. And so, I, who am I to deny this painting? It's violet. I don't like that spot though. This painting will not be denied. It must have violet. All right, and look, I did not, I cannot achieve that shape again. I don't know if you can see that, so I'm gonna have to just try that again up here. The little part I just painted on. I think what happened is it smudged the paint underneath and it made like a little stamp. Yeah, like a little stamp effect. That's more like it. So now I've repeated this shape in more than one spot and I like, I like to do that. It brings everything together. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, get a glimpse into my mind, I guess, when I'm doing this. Now, what is next? I like, I don't know, I just like the way these look. It's very organic feeling to me. It adds so much texture and visual interest. And, uh, I'm still waiting for this to paint to dry a little bit. And this is kind of, I don't know, I don't. Okay, so I'm back. So you hear me shaking my spray can. I have this uh, beautiful okay, be Liquitex professional spray paint. The colors are outstanding. And um, I decided I want to use this stencil. It has some words on it that I really uh, want to be in this piece. And uh, I could just use a paintbrush and stencil around it. But no! <laughs> I want to use my spray paint. So I'm going to try this and see how it works. And I'm going to test I've masked off the area I don't want to get the spray paint on, although spray paint does tend to go everywhere. And then um, let's see if I can get this spray. Didn't test it before I came back on camera. Okay. Just getting there. Okay. So see, I tested on this paper because you saw how it come, came out in weird droplets there. Now it's coming out much more smoothly. So now I'm just going to lightly spray it. Right on the stencil. And see what happens because it makes me happy. Do that. And my stencil is the most beautiful color ever, but it's a word, so I'm not going to stamp it. So I have kind of that word impression. And really quick before that spray paint dries, I'm just going to. I just want to blend out the edges. Oh, look, it's coming off. That's interesting. I didn't like the water. It's the propellant in it, I'm sure. That's okay. I'm, I'm going with it. I just don't want those spray painty edges. Even though I use spray paint. Okay. So I have just the impression of that word. Awesome. And I'm going to do more words. So here we go. Happy. Inspire. And again, I'm going to just mask it off with this paper. I don't want that E to show up, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm sure there are other ways, you know. I'm always doing weird stuff, trying out new things. So. And how that happens. One more. And I kind of want to let this.
spray paint go over to this edge. So, all right, spray time. Nope, my eyes covered up. Make sure. Not painting. All right, here we go. Okay, then to clear this nozzle, flip it upside down. Um, I don't want my paint to dry in there. Acrylic, because it's acrylic ink, uh, because, because it's acrylic paint, it will uh, dry there. So inspire, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this little edge again. Kind of just smudge it up a bit. There we go. And then I have one more word I want to put on here and I'm going to put that on the other page. Right there, dream. Okay, mask it off again. <laughs> my, my masking paper is stuck together by the paint. Okay, there we go. So, I don't like that little pointy corner, so I'm going to rip that off. I don't want it to be pointy as it goes. Still was pointy. Okay, okay there we go. And then the piece. The piece de resistance. There we go. I'm making that really heavy there. <laughs> that paint is just luscious. Clearing my nozzle. That should be nice and clean. And I have all these lovely bits of wax paper. Makes me wish I had used a different kind of paper so that I could use it in something. And then drool. That was kind of a lot of spray paint on that one. I wanted it to be nice and dark. I'm going to clean my stencil off a little, stamping it onto this paper. Or just dabbing it off with the cloth. Why not? Okay, so that's the second stencil. And then back to my mess around with those edges a little. little wave mountain thing going on there. All right, so I'm liking the results of that, just the impression of those words. Um, it's really nice. Very nice. And this part is like going, you need to do something to me. I am lonely. <laughs> 
sorry. These are the things that go on in an artist's head, or at least my head. I can't speak for other artists. Of course, everyone's different. So, now what? That was fun. And my fingers and thumbs covered with paint. Just so they like it. Dream, dream, dream. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I don't know what I need to do. Do I want to reinforce the words? Do I want to work on this little space? You can see my drips I was like being so cautious about earlier. They're <laughs> Completely gone. Doesn't matter. You know, I know they're there, or I may bring them back later. I haven't decided. So, this is kind of, I don't know, a lot of my artwork because I like to work in this blue spectrum. Looks like it's underwater. This is kind of feeling that way too. Plus, I've got this little wave action thing going on. And what do I want to do? I just, I want to use a sponge. So I have a whole bunch of different kinds of sponges, but I want to use a natural sponge if I can find one. Obviously not Okay, so let's see, I have a lot of sponges. Natural sponge. I want a natural sponge. Like this. Such wonderful texture. I'm going to dip it in my water so it can soften up a little. Squeeze it so it can soften up a little. And then I'm going to dip it in my. Violet, and I'm just gonna dab it on over here. Just kind of taking this violet to the, the edge there. I don't have a lot of paint on here, just a little. And as you can see, and I'm going to do the same, kind of dab it up here. <laughs> you know, I'm making this video for you. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but hey, I'm doing it anyway. A little bit of white mixed in. And a little bit of white. I, I do know, you know, I'm reflecting colors that are already in the piece. I'm just adding texture. I'm adding interest. I don't know where it's going to end up in the end, but that's just where I am now. And then I'm going to wash the sponge. So this blue that I used for the spray paint was phthalo blue. And I already have phthalo blue in my piece, obviously. We talked about that. So I'm just going to add more phthalo blue. And white with the sponge. Kind of just adding some texture. I just want some texture. I said I was going to add white, but I really want darker blue. Just and I'm adding it, adding depth. Just adding some depth. Okay. 
So you notice I was really lightly tapping. That's to get the most texture. Now I've um, over to the side. I added white to this phthalo to get a lighter. I didn't want it to be white. I just want it to be a lighter phthalo. And I'm going to do a little bit a lighter blue over this. These words may disappear altogether. I just I don't know. Just have to wait and see what happens. It's kind of cool looking. Cool. Don't like that. I'm gonna wipe that part off. Those uh, stencils are dry, so let me just wipe away some of that blue that I just put over top of that. There we go. Like I said, it's just looking more watery all the time, I think. A little wet spot. Okay. Well, all right. Of course, I have to put some circles on here now. Because the more underwatery it looks, the more underwatery I want to make it. So, I'm going to add some white and blue. Mm. This one's kind of big. I don't have these, so I have these different size cardboard you know, rolls. This is like a paper towel roll, and these are different for a like Christmas wrapper or something. Those I think are a little too big. So of course you can use anything that's circular, right? That makes the makes the um, print that you want to make. And I have this cap for my paint covered water bottle. So it is perfect for making circles. And I want the circles to be kind of a light teal color. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I like to mix as I go and I don't want it to be like a perfect color. Then I'm stamping off a little over there and now I'm going to stamp onto here. And these are kind of like Guess what? I'm going to do this. So it's probably going to mix in with that darker color that's underneath, but that is actually what I wanted to do. That's perfect because it will blend. I need a little more color and paint. Now at this point, if I wanted to, I could just you know, make the circles with my finger. This is more fun. I'll be honest, it's just more fun to do it this way. <laughs> it's not really necessary. Crazy there. I want to add some of that blue in, some of that phthalo. I don't want that to be quite so bright. It's a little too bright for me. I'm just going to add a touch of that blue. Just don't want those to stand out quite as much. And in fact, on that one, I'm going to add a little bit of the violet. And I'm just tapping it onto my finger like that and getting a tiny bit of paint and adding it in. There we go. Just an impression of a little circle.
So I have used stencils, I have used spray paint, I have used sponges, I have used my fingers. Hmm, I'm a mad scientist artist, I guess. What else could I use for this? The circle a little lighter. I don't care if they're perfect. I am when it comes to making art, I'm not after perfect. So this bothers me. This is like an untouched space. I kind of feel like I need something there, but I'm not sure what. Um, I mean, I know it's kind of a little bit of a relief for the eye, but I just don't like it. I don't want to put a circle there. I know that much. I could add some stenciling. I think that's what I'm going to do. Some more of this, like, small circles and white. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a smaller brush so that I have, I just want to control it a little bit more. Or, <laughs> I don't know if you call it controlling it, but I just want to have it be a bit more, <laughs> less wide space. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I have that, that um, turquoise plus white, and I'm going to do mostly white, mostly white with the hint of turquoise. Oh, look at that straight line. No, no, no. I need some dots over there, and it's just not going to work. I'm going to re kind of reline it up. Here we go. Carry it over to the other side a little. There we go. That's more like it. That ended up being a smudge. Let's take that off. There we go. I don't mind that it's smudged. Just, you know. and I, but I do think that's a little much, so I'm going to just, I have this baby white that I've been using. Tap it and pick up a little bit of that paint. It's a little more than I want there. Okay. Okay. So this really light space. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go back to my, my original thinking was about the spirit of creativity. And so I have, I'm going to draw on this little wave. Now I have this bottle of diluted black paint that I love to just make lines with, and I'm going to remake my line in black. And then I'm going to tap a few little drops. There. A few little drops here. These are kind of big drops, but that's okay. If I wanted smaller ones, I would use the Frank Garson. Okay. Okay. Loving that. Love, love, love. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to my bubbles. These are, these are bubbles. These are joy bubbles, in case you were wondering. a slight highlight on this. So if the light was passing through here, that's what I'm thinking. And I'm smudging it a little bit because I don't want it to be, this one is already really light on that side. It doesn't really need a highlight. And then a little bit of highlight on this one. Just smudging it. I don't want it to be a line, but this is a great controlled way of adding paint. 
to fill my, my joy bubbles. Okay, and then let's see, then I want to add drips. I thought about writing on this, and I just haven't decided if I'm going to write on it or not. I just don't know for sure. And so I want, it's called Spirit of Creativity, but I don't know if I want to write that on there or just, you know. I might want to write it because this is a journal book. And so I'm going to tap some white specks. Actually, that's not working very well, so I'm going to do this. Do it this way. Look it instead of tap it. A little more paint. Probably more water. And this actually is not completely white, it has a little bit of that turquoise mixed in. So see, I'm adding back in some of those little drips and drops that I kind of worked my way out of before. I'm going to make that more watery. Put some a little bit bigger drops there. Yay! And I need a little bit more here. And here. Some kind of big splatter. So I'm hitting it hard because I want it to be a big splatter like that. Splat. There we go. Ooh, like it. And there. <laughs> and that makes me happy. So therefore, I'm calling this done. And uh, I'm in love with it. I think it is beautiful and amazing. And I don't know what anyone else thinks but uh, yeah super happy with it all I have left to do now is sign it and date it and we are good okay so thank you so much for watching I know this was really long um, so I'm gonna make the long version which I call the extended version we like to watch extended version movies so I'm gonna make the extended version and I'm gonna make the uh, speed version and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.